uh no we're recording it's live uh small boys podcast we just got a new uh theme song uh lily c sings is the person who made it thank you very much i devote my life to you i don't know i'm sorry uh i'm here with connor hawkinsmith just a cute just a cute a good man a good man where the good man go it's connor it's all connor (laughs) it says he's right here he's sitting with me wow what an honor if you want to be in my basement with connor (laughs) that's where that's where you need to be and he's he's shaking the water bottle inside the mic there's no water in there anymore (laughs) drink all the water that's my bad you ask me for water i give you ice oh that yeah that was just ice with water the whole Um, thing was just filled with ice don't you think about that uh, since, you know, water is ice? It's just ice with a lot of ice? Uh-huh, yeah. Have you thought about that? Well, that's, yeah. Do you drink what? a lot, Connor? Do you party a lot? Uh, Drink a lot of alcohol. Yeah. Did I even introduce? It's a small boys podcast, Yeah, you did. I think, I think you did. Oh, my God. Three weeks. Bill is good I'm... at this. <laughs> Three weeks and then I'm gone. Um, But, yeah, I mean, I, I partied last night. What did you uh, do? Yeah, tell us the story. Uh, I went out to... I think it's relatively new. It's called Society and Crossroads. And let me tell you what, it was, uh, don't go there. It's trash. <laughs> it's trash. It, so the, what happened? So all the floors are sticky. This, uh, this, uh, server basically just bowled her way through. Like my buddy's got bottles and stuff and they were setting up a new table and they just, one lady came through, bulldogged one of my friends and then he had some choice words for her. And so then he got threw out immediately. They just threw him out. And I said, dang. And then I went to the bathroom, and they had a dude basically like he was on like a runway of a airport. And because the whole, because they keep doing this gender neutral shit. And so like you walk in, it's this huge aisle of uh, bathrooms and doors and Which stuff. Which we totally support, you know? I Yeah. Yeah. Not in this instance. It was just a mess. <laughs> We support he, gen- good bathrooms. Th- this guy was literally running it like a like a runway. He had like a light, and he's like flashing people left and right. And so like you were dodging women and huge jack dudes. I'm like, this is Why? weird. What's wrong with that? What's wrong if I want to be sucking and fucking in society? You know what I mean? Uh, well, I mean, this girl that we were also with, she had just sat down, and then some dude walked in, and she was like, "Oh shit!" And so. <laughs> So that's the issues you run into. Oh, that's interesting. I mean, uh, I think in I think in like Europe and Sweden, they're like uh, gender neutral bathrooms. I think. Are I'm you just, sure? Yeah. They just have dudes and dudes and gals just running yeah. in. Yeah. I don't like it. That uh, stuff is junk. That stuff is <laughs> junk. I kind of i um I kind of like the idea, but I don't know. I just. I don't know. It's like I don't want to see a, a a woman's junk and a female's junk. They are equally disgusting to me. Well, especially in a bathroom. Yeah. I mean, I'd rather see it not in a bathroom. I'm doing a roast <laughs> battle in like two hours. Do you think this is a good insult? Uh, okay. This, this guy looks like the type of guy to not take his pants off to piss. I don't know. How do you express that? Like, what? He uses the flyer and underwear oh. flap to piss. <laughs> He's a dude that just uses, just goes through the zipper. Yeah, I don't even know if that is. A, <laughs> that I think that's a, called a power move. If you're doing that, I, I had another roast. It's like this guy looks like he drinks fine whiskey and shits himself. I don't know. I think that's funny. <laughs> that's like, <laughs> I don't even. Are these insults? I don't even. Um, I don't know. I'm doing it against. I'm. It's that. It's. I mean, if unless I release the podcast, like in an hour yeah it's not like no one's gonna see it before the show and even if they do they're like oh i have to i'm driving there right now <laughs> yeah well i'm sure these people don't listen to the pod i'm sure they don't listen i'm sure nobody listens i'm sure nobody listens <laughs> <laughs> no what is it like uh one of the other roasts was like this guy brandon buckley he always wears a suit mm-hmm. i was like um they say um the suit uh makes the man but i think it makes the man pussy Boom. There you go. That's I don't know. I can't be too mean. Oh, are you talking? You're talking about Brock? No. <laughs> oh, <laughs> but it's a guy who also wears a suit. You should come out to Merv's. Why don't you come out to Merv's, man? Why don't you come out to other places and get, you're just busy partying? Yeah, I just Saturday got, night. Is Saturday. Too, yeah, it's usually party time. This guy Fox. Yeah, Mr. Cool Guy. I get Mr. out there. Mr. Cool Guy. Yeah. Do you tell them you do stand up? Uh, it's party? probably the worst mistake I've ever done. What do you mean? Just tell people I do stand up. <laughs> What's happened? You get hit with the tell me a joke. 
and uh, a lot of, uh, oh, I can't wait to come out and see you. I'm like, you're not going to come out and see me. I was like, you won't. People have come out and seen me. And then they've heckled the comics, and then I felt bad. Yeah, that's what happened two weeks ago when I had people come. Well, they didn't even come for me. They just were people I knew, and they started heckling. And then poor Max decided to challenge one of them. Those were people you knew? (laughs) That was all your fault? They were getting rowdy. They were drunk as hell. (laughs) Why? I thought it was like a a football fantasy league or something. No, they look like it, but no, it was just... It was it was it was very sad to watch Max just get put down. He tried to do crowd work. No, he said like something to the extent of "Go fuck yourself and wear your hat backwards." Yeah, I should have said I should have went on stage, but like, "Go fuck yourself and wear uh, gold teeth." You have gold teeth, Bill. I want to watch you do crowd work. Like I've that. done crowd work. I did the chair. That's no, crowd well, work. Okay, that's chair no, no, no. Work. Like get mad at someone. I've, Start yelling I can't. At I can't. I don't feel. <laughs> I don't feel entitled to the audience. I have no um, like interest in any sense of self-importance or any self of like strong I do. meaning on stage. I feel that way heavily. Really? I'm like, hey, you better shut the fuck up. I'm about no, to drop some. No, it's like. No, I mean, it's like I just make. Uh, the worst I do is maybe make a joke about it, but it's like I, I. I don't care. Like I don't have a hard time with people listening to me, and I mean. Um, but it's like I'd always walk the line between like um, getting a space to talk in, and like I'd always try to like I'd stand my ground, but I'd never try to like push on the audience. Like if they're not saying anything, I'm not gonna tell them to shut the fuck up or they're being annoying. If they are saying something, I'm going to just get louder. I don't know. Huh. I mean, that's the way to deal with it. Yeah. But I mean, usually I offend the audience in probably 15 seconds flat. So I'm used to silence and a lot of. Just, uh. <laughs> just like, here's a good idea. How about you do, like, a set based on, like, a day in the life of Jeffrey Epstein? A day in the life of Jeffrey. I, I should, should do, do a set. Or oh, maybe, you should do that? Or you should do it. I don't know. I feel like you could both do it. We could both do it. Let's be, I can be the kid. You can be Jeffrey Epstein. Nice. Let's do, you want to do it right now? So, all right. So No, I don't want to do it. I don't want to <laughs> play child abuse. What? You don't? <laughs> yeah, I don't really want to be a pedophile, so... See, I wanted to like I wanted to like make this podcast like be positive and and do all these things and but it's just like I'm just like a a bad person. You don't <laughs> No, but it, what, all what kind stuff... of pa- what kind of podcast do you want to make this? No, I, Are we I not doing a like, comedy podcast. No, I, I want it to be like a comedy podcast, but it's like I just can't stop thinking about Jeffrey Epstein. He's so dreamy. <laughs> that's some no, positivity right there no like i just can't stop like i just can't stop thinking about bad things that's how my mind works because like um, my comedy is like it's me detaching myself from being sad by laughing at stuff yeah. like in in the most traditional sense like um there's a couple jokes um that i've been telling people but i don't think i would ever do on stage uh, i was like yeah, my gr- my ex girlfriend loved John Mulaney. I think my ex girlfriend loved like John Mulaney more than talking to me, because I would I would bring her downstairs or or anywhere in this house. I would uh-huh. we would watch like a movie. Oh, she's like, oh, I like John Mulaney. She, you know, uh, would just I would try to like interact with her. She wouldn't. Okay. So I had to turn it <laughs> off, and she got upset at me. But it, but it, but I don't know. Maybe I'm a dick. I was like sixteen, fifteen. I don't know. Oh yeah. Well. Wait, but so just, you're watching John Mulaney? Yeah, so but confused. she was like... Well, yeah, that'll do it. That'll dry up a pussy real quick. Watching John Mulaney? She asked what for it. What the hell? She asked for it. <laughs> um, for whatever that's worth. Uh, Bill, what you need to do is you need to go up on stage and just rip a racial slur. I have. Have you? Which one? <laughs> Would you like to say it? Chink. I've done the Chinese Oh, well, one. yeah, you can say that. Oh, you mean racial slur? You can't do it. Yeah, I talked about that to Dorian. I was like, we should just like. Uh, Wait, he went up to Dorian. You're like, can I say it? <laughs> no, I was like, um, I was like, what if we just switch sets for like one day? Well, I mean, he did go up on stage and just say the N word twenty times, and I can respect <laughs> that. No, I mean, I mean, I don't. There's this. There's this random guy um, that I saw perform that said. Chink a lot. I mean, I don't. I don't really. Oh, care. is he just like a white dude? Yeah, I mean, yeah. Oh. There's no other Asian comedians. They don't exist. Not in Kansas City. Yeah, and that old, that old wise samurai that was in the crowd, who also did comedy. What are you talking about? <laughs> that other Asian guy. Remember, whenever there was like another Asian comic, and he was like 50 years old or something. 
let's not, let's to... not, let's not point out people too much. I don't want to, I don't want to talk bad about other comics. <laughs> yeah, I don't, I don't, we're I'm just not, name dropping. I'm not talking bad, but do you know who I do want to name drop? Tom Myers. He's, Tom Myers. He's my favorite comedian from Baltimore. <laughs> you have favorite comedians in just random places. Are um, these even headliners? Who are these people? I, I watch a show with Tom Myers headlining. I don't, I don't know. I don't know what's his like status right now. He has a podcast. If I could get mm. on his podcast, I'd kill myself. I'd, I'd be very excited. I don't know. I just use kill myself instead of expressing real emotion. Yeah, and so I mean, like, I'd be very excited. You're just like, I'll just kill myself. <laughs> yeah. I said, like, killing at the comedy club or I'll kill myself. Killing at the comedy club. Have you done that before? Uh, I've split a room like Moses before. Like, legitimately, like, uh, it was like a packed night. I forgot who had been there, but a lot of people stayed. And I said, I don't know, I, that's when I was doing my Rittenhouse stuff, which people either hated or loved it. And one night was... I did it. Oh, just like how if you're going to do something bad, uh, at least kill a pedophile. And then I was just backing that's up. Not, that's not, I like that. So I was. I basically went up there. I was like, "Rittenhouse is the man." And then, uh, basically, like the crowd split into the middle hated me, and then the sides were having a good time. I and feel I like that like, says a lot about society. I mean, you're 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 not you're not trying. You're not like relying on people to agree with you. But it is kind of hard to do that stuff. Um, well, yeah. Well, I mean, I don't want to go up there and be like, "You have to." Well, number one, I think people think I'm being serious. And so, that never goes. You think people think I'm being serious when I'm talking about no you know, 2080? People families will start having sex with each other when the world ends. I no, I don't think anybody takes you serious as far as on stage <laughs> or <Okay>. in general. <laughs> oh, I was I was about to say thank you for specifying. <laughs> I had a joke that I couldn't do on stage. I said uh, this is this is great. Written house, uh, written house N word. Written house N word. Yeah. Actually, saying the N word or just no, saying written house N word. I mean, N-word? I um, it would make the joke funnier. But written house N word. Do you get it? Written house N word. Like a house N word. <laughs> you know what I mean? God, I just always get into being racist. No, because like I'm, I wanna like, I really wanna like uh share the podcast like i'm not like because um no because it's like uh no because i've been thinking about it and it's like do i ever want to do anything like how br- like brand friendly or like how um like like generically appealing do i want to be and the answer is none but i don't yeah. want to like push people away either yeah well i mean it just comes down to what you think because it's basic i don't know people are just like really sensitive about things for no reason of just like they take online way too serious like uh, tyler the creator his i mean you i'm sure you know this tweet of just like how are you getting offended i'm it's gonna the screen i'm just gonna like, look fuck away. selena gomez she just turned 18 i'm gonna fuck selena <laughs> gomez that, that's what i remember from his tweets no well he has the just the one saying like how do you get online bullied it's like just look away and that's basically people go online and think that's just the shut real your world. eyes. Yeah. No, I get that. Tyler the Creator um, used to be a lot more offensive. Now he's a cutesy art boy. Yeah, he's artsy fartsy. And I say, God dang, what happened? In the other men's butts. It's like, oh man, I remember Odd Future Wolf Gang was super cool. And now yeah, he's like, oh yeah, like, oh, what do you mean offensive words? Uh, tell me about them. Like, what do you mean? And now he's like, I'm sorry. Like, now people are like, you know, if, if, if Tyler made the tweets that he. Uh, made 10 years ago today I would not be his fan yeah it's like what are we doing here but What's meanwhile happening? meanwhile Kanye is literally like exploding <laughs> on the internet and his fans are like love you yay well have you heard um, have you heard of what happens what is happening in New York with them addressing like rap videos with guns and stuff in them or just rap in general what are they doing basically they're just saying like we need to stop this <laughs> we, it's like going back to like the 80s and 90s with uh metal they're like this is like the devil's music and it's basically just i mean drill music probably isn't healthy on society because it is just talking about 
killing people. I don't think we should talk about, like, I don't know, like, I, I'm a big fan of Tupac, and he talk about, like, when things get better, people will stop talking about things being bad. Yeah. But, I mean, you can talk about glorifying violence, but, I mean, like, it, it's easy to be like, oh, just, we should shut down the rap music, but it's clearly, like, a whole, like, cultural, um, like, that exists that to make that happen it's not like like it's not just one guy being like yeah i love rap and then just like people being like oh my god he convinced me with his smart words it's yeah not, like it's not like a cult it's like a culture that exists and is pervasive and for for some for individual or societal reasons exist i mean it's like again i don't think it's right to like shut down uh people's like free of expression especially when they're just representative of a culture that's Exist. Yeah, it's what they live, it's what they do. It's always been said that music is I a walk, reflection of society. I walk society. the walk, I talk the talk. See me, see me out in these streets. Uh-oh. I do comedy. Oh no! <laughs> you, you thought I was gonna but, get like a, an accent or something? Or I, I didn't know what was about to happen. <laughs> Honestly, I was a little terrified. Let's let's do a let's. I'm gonna see if how long I can do a Jerry Seinfeld impression. Please. See. All right. Go for it. I'm gonna start with my joke and then I'll just. <laughs> and then I'm gonna cut you off and, and I'm gonna say no. What's the deal with cars? Ugh, I've, had, I've had enough. <laughs> they have bumpers, but you're not supposed to bump them. The only other thing that has trunks is elephants. You see an elephant with two trunks? That's a Tesla. <laughs> I'm gay. All right, th- all right, we got it. That's enough of that. Bit. I think a, a butthole is the no more, perfect spot. <laughs> no more sign for, phone, please. For, for a penis. <laughs> But penises fit way better in assholes than do vaginas. Wait, how long did you go up on stage and do a Seinfeld impression? It was just for like thir- like thirty seconds. Oh, thank God. We look. How about? Why don't we ever? Why why aren't gay guys more like lesbians? Why don't we smash buttholes together? Why don't why don't we what what when are we gonna be able to make my butthole come? When when is that gonna happen? This is why you're banned from the four or three. Keep going up there doing junk like that. <laughs> I'm just no because it's like I I told um no I just like I wanted to um it was very important to me that I like did this podcast and then it's like like I'm going to like plan to show this to other people and then like that's what they're gonna hear your Seinfeld impression <laughs> buttholes are made for each other they're like starfishes of the land uh... they're like stars <laughs> they're like stars in my butt. Um, I oh, I was gonna say about the four three. Hayden was up there, and he's twenty. I mean, I don't really want to. No, let's yeah, let's not. <laughs> let's let's shit talk. Let's shit talk every single club. I love just shit talking. No, it's so. We should fun. start a fight club. That'd be like a cool place to start a fight club at. What, the four three. Yeah. Yeah. And four just destroy all those pinball machines. Just wipe them out, dude. That'd be crazy. That'd be nice. I wish that would happen. Well, no. actually, the four three is about to die. We have that new one coming out in Raytown. I said, let's go. <laughs> I'm not. I'm not responsible for any of your statements about the comedy scene. You clearly don't give a fuck. But I mean, I guess I don't. But I guess I try to. Uh... Listen, I like everybody. It's just like, come on. I mean, the, come on. I mean, you're gonna. You want me to do it in a dingy bar? Okay. Well. <laughs> <laughs> I love dive bars. No, yeah, that's the guy I'm uh, roasting. Is ho- I guess we can promote this. As in, um, before I roast him, he is actually a nice guy. Uh, yeah, Brandon nice. Buckley. Brandon Buckley's hosting like a new Kansas City Mike, uh, the Apollo. Uh, no, the Legends. Yeah. Legends Club. Is that what's called? The Legends Comedy Club in Raytown. Legends Comedy Club in Raytown, Dune Monday. So that's it's March seventh. Is, is that thirty minutes away from here? Uh, from right. That's yeah. That's probably about thirty. That's cool. No, yeah. I'll, I'll go by and see it then. Um, uh, yeah. I am. Um, I wasn't good enough for the four three club. It rejected me. Yeah. They, also, they thought they thought they thought my comedy was too um intellectual for um. People, <laughs> so. I mean, I uh, let me try to think right now. No, I mean, what the fuck were you talking about? Fight clubs. Yeah. No, you, yeah, no, that's great. Were so we much. talking about fight clubs? <laughs> yeah, we were talking about fight clubs. I've been thinking about fight clubs. I've been I think watching, you were talking I watched about, them about David Fincher. <laughs> watching out David Fincher. Um, and, like, for some reason, like, watching Gone Girl makes me want to do... So, in Gone Girl, he has this, like, thing uh, uh-huh. where he, like, puts his fingers... 
can the camera see me? Where he puts his fingers to like a lady and he goes like this and then he like kisses them. Like I, now I want to do that. But he's like a what? he's like a he's like a kind of a bad person, but kind of like he's like a like at least like an, an he's asshole. a bad boy. No, I mean, Gone Girl makes me depressed. Gone Girl makes me um, very scared of my life. What? <laughs> Have you watched Gone Girl? No. <laughs> um, well, spoilers for Gone. I think I've talked about it before, but basically, um, you can see you can see a guy's life being single handedly ruined <laughs> by a woman. By yeah, over two years. Oh, I think it's like the female. For me, it's like the female version of like. American Psycho or something. Mm. Do you know Kristen Bale is like English? He's not American apparently. He doesn't have that. It's not an accent. It's like it's it's. Oh yeah, they, there's a lot of like British actors that are just good with American accents. Do you think that they should be allowed to do that? Are you? Yeah, I think it might be. It's not racist, but it, it's something. <laughs> it's, and it's something, something like, and I don't like it. They're, they're appropriating <laughs> our culture. America is the best country in the world. They can't just be here and pretend like yeah what the hell they're normal how can we build a wall from the ocean build a big ocean wall. um i think we should start killing actors well i mean they're not really respected anymore so yeah i mean new shows after, new movies suck now after i saw that imagine video with all those celebrities that was painful i wanted to um give them covid remember when everybody was like hey we're gonna unify the the lockdowns are gonna be great and then it just turned into a hell did we was that <laughs> does that exist it's like um my friends went to thailand the uh, a, a beautiful young couple you're talking about mike and sarah yeah mike and sarah <laughs> michael <laughs> blank and sarah o'sullivan wonderful young great comedians co- young comedians up on the up and up Mike murders. They're 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 and Sarah has you, dad what problems. They're doing to the what they're doing to the comedy scene. They're fucking and sucking, right? They're yeah. fucking and sucking. They've been right? gone for a while. I yeah, they were... they've been fucking and sucking. Yeah, not even, <laughs> like like the comedy scene. They've been fucking and sucking. I don't know. Sorry, I can't. I like rhymes, alliterations, any wordplay. Oh well, we were doing skits at uh, Dennis's place, and yeah, uh, at some point uh, they were getting like sexual. I said, "Get get this out of here." <laughs> I said, what the hell are we doing here? I'm going to have them on the podcast. I'm going to confront them. It's oh, like, Michael, he's, I think he's probably, he's going to be dude. really good if he had stopped being in Thailand. He just needs to come back and start. He's in Thailand. He just got back. He was oh, at he Merce. Did. Oh, he did? Why? I haven't seen him in a month. What do you want from me? Um, He missed my chair set, and then he saw me perform yesterday. I feel like Well, I... that's a blessing. <laughs> <laughs> um. Um, and then like I did, I did like a set, but I felt like I didn't do that well. I don't know why, but oh, it's like, it, it didn't get the reaction that I thought it would. Like I felt like I got a better reaction going like thirtieth on the comedy club last Thursday. Yeah. But I mean, I didn't do poorly. Like I asked people, and they said I did like decently well. So maybe I'm just uh, really insecure. Bro, people lie. <laughs> <sighs> Connor. I had I bombed. Maybe, Connor, kill yourself. I <laughs> sorry, sorry. I don't know. But one night I bombed so bad, and then I went, and someone was like, "That was a good set." I'm like, "You're a liar." <laughs> I was like, "No one laughed." And then and then I asked somebody, and then he like totally got into my head. I was like, oh, "Like, do you think I did well?" Like, I swear, like I did the worst out of all the other comedians. I feel like, like I did. I forced everybody to clap, mm-hmm. and that was like, you, yeah, yeah. yeah you, her, for some reason, people <laughs> do that. I don't know why. Like that's 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 like my entire reasoning for existence to get people to do things they wouldn't they normally do. Yeah, I guess. Like bringing a guy and sitting up in a chair. I guess I don't know. I'm <laughs> learning more about myself every day. Comedy is like really testing me. Uh, like uh, no, I asked him and he was like, he was like, oh, I thought you did well. He's like, he's like, don't ask me, don't ask me what I think. Stop seeking for my approval. Just sit down with yourself and. Write down what you thought about your own set, uh, and I was like, I was like, you're like, dude, gonna... dude, get away from me. No, I mean he's <laughs> nice, but it, it just made me want to die. I don't know. I think I've been listening too much. I, 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 I I've been listening to many su- suicidal thoughts. <laughs> suicidal thoughts, not like my suicidal thoughts. Other people's. Oh, like in a song. Um. Uh, yeah, like that. I want to die. Was so I want to talk about this. How do we plan a murder? What who would you murder? <laughs> who would I murder? Who would you murder? How would you do it? Uh if I were to I don't even see I don't even hate I don't hate anybody. It's just like 
people just gotta stay away from me. Some like, people just need to be far away from me. <laughs> okay, okay. Then talk if if it's not there's nobody you murder. Pick like a situation where it's like, like like in the heat of the moment. Like in the heat of the if moment. If I had a gun to his head, and he said, "Tell me to do it. You do it." Uh, who would I murder? Probably. Okay, don't name a cop. Don't name a cop. <laughs> don't name a cop. I was like, oh. we're not gonna make threats. We're not gonna. Make I had threats. one. <laughs> I was thinking of one. Uh. I don't know. Probably um, Joe Rogan. Uh, no. Okay. Uh, no, I have no idea. I don't really think about murdering people. Uh, do I you would... do this? No, I mean, I just think. <laughs> Did you ask like me? So idea. you'd be like, so anyway, so this is who I was thinking of killing. I guess, yeah. <laughs> no, I was like, I'd probably pick somebody from high school. From high school? I don't know. I have nobody in particular. It's, you know. This is somebody that wrote me wrong. All of my exes. I'd murder all of my exes. How about that? Is that a good one? Uh, I That's guess. That's a pick. Yeah. Jesus. All of my exes. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know. If I were to pick one, just somebody from high school. Just somebody. I don't know. So, um, he, okay, now so, you're making me, so this, this was supposed to be like a bonding moment right, where well, it's like, you tell me one thing, then I tell you one thing, but then you're just like, so well, why are you bringing this up? Why are you being weird? Well, you expected something? me to be a murderer and it. Now I you're like, oh, you dang, he, like, he's not a murderer. Because <laughs> I've been watching so many true crime things. It's like, wow, there's a lot of murderers, and there's a lot of ways they do it. Oh, yeah. I mean, I guess to get away with murder really isn't that hard as far as, like... Go on. Uh, don't take your phone with you. Have a gun. Don't go stab someone. And then okay. take the plates off your car. And you just do a drive-by. <laughs> it's not that I hard. I really like that. I really like that <laughs> idea. Um, I'm personal. I'm really, I'm, I'm, um, I'm like a very good version of a man. I, I take everything personally. Uh huh. Um, <laughs> so what I do is I fix my side profile so I'm not insecure while recording my podcast. Okay. Um, and then I'd, uh, <laughs> I don't know. I'd, I'd, I, hmm, let me think. So, so you, you would drive, so you would like try to find somebody at a location, shoot them, and then leave. Mm hmm. Okay. Be the easiest. That's very interesting. <laughs> is it? <laughs> what else is there to do? I feel there. like the best way is like, if you had a choice, like if I had like the old, the, the perfect scenario, what I do is like, I, uh, I'd probably like have them like travel with me to a foreign country. Okay. And then just like leave them in the middle of a forest without directions, take their phone. Oh yeah. You, you want to, you kind of want to do what that dude did with the, the girl. Um, is that what happened to her? Yeah, he strangled her and left her in the woods. No, but I just wouldn't strangle. Oh, you just leave him? Or what are you doing here? I guess I would. I guess you would I have to strangle him. No, I wouldn't. Because then they could get away. But they don't. I don't. I think there's some places where you couldn't get away. You know what I mean? Uh, yeah. But then you have to think about: Could you get away? Yeah, but like that's my idea is like take their phone, take take have all the directions, be di- directing them a certain place. Okay, that sounds like a lot of effort. But but like <laughs> I feel like you just be able to walk away. There's no like emotional investment. Uh, I guess in a sense. I mean, you have enough emotional investment to <laughs> bring them to another country. But there's no like <laughs> stabbing them or anything. <laughs> None of that stuff. I wouldn't do any of that stuff. Yeah, man. Uh, I'm proud of what we've created here. I feel like real, a real a loser. I mean, I'll be honest. I had nothing to do with this. Yeah. I was sitting in my room. Everyone is just parasites off my belly. I'm trying to go to prom with this girl. Shout outs. Shout outs. Oh, my God. No, no I meant to too much. I'm not really trying to. I don't know. Whoever, if you listen to my podcast and you and you know what I'm talking about, um, uh, I'd prefer if you wouldn't go around telling people. But if you did, I think that's really funny. I think you, you, you kind of do deserve to tell it to other people. If you're like, I listen to his podcast 30 minutes in. And yeah, 30 then, minutes in. So, like, I feel like that's good. I'm proud of you. I mean, how many people do you think watch or listen to maybe five minutes of it and they're like, I've had enough? <laughs> I don't know. I like 20 regular listeners, like 10 regular plays at least mm-hmm. is like what I think. Yeah. What I've, at least like over time, it's around that. I don't know. I mean, if you calculate from like Spotify and SoundCloud, that's where people have been listening. Yeah. 
Because I'm like Joe Rogan. Yeah. Huge. Yeah. I'm huge. Just massive. I'm going to start scene. taking um, a human growth hormone. I've been thinking about doing that. What? For what? I need to get... Um, I'm trying to um, uh, look look um, fucking good. You know what I mean? <laughs> I'm, trying to, I'm trying to clean up my side profile. So you're trying to... I don't even know. What even is that? I've never even heard of that. Um... It it's like uh, it's like an evolution serum. This doesn't sound real. I think you just human made growth this hormone. Right? You've never heard of this? No. Um, yeah, are you talking about steroids? I've been thinking. I mean, sort of. Yeah. And then I've been thinking about um, stem cell research. We okay. should do stem. I should do a bit about stem cell research. <laughs> about what? What about stem cells? I don't know. I think there aren't they aborted baby fetuses. Uh, they come from them come from embryos i think that's why um that's what's like my friend who's like she's like she's like neutral on vaccines <laughs> neutral no she's like well like i think vaccines are good for some people and stuff but they have aborted baby fetuses in them oh yeah uh, <laughs> i don't know if they do or not embryonic cells i mean i don't know the difference we're not a scientist we don't yeah, know shit i don't know anything but I can act like. But I as do. an expert, um, <laughs> as an expert, I think that um, <sighs> scientists are heroes. No, they're not. Scientists are heroes. They're not. They're heroes in my book. They're just a bunch of nerds. I know your hero is Rittenhouse, <laughs> but I have <laughs> like different standards. I'm sorry, dude. We the scientists have failed us. Did you tell that? Did you tell that vid on? Uh, did you tell it already? Whatever. What of the Ridden House? Yeah. Well, I stopped doing it because um, it was splitting through. It was splitting rooms everywhere I went. Yeah. Because I missed a worldwide. I don't. I, said, I don't want to have friends. I want to have like half. I want to have like instead of two, having two friends, I'd rather have one. You know what I mean? Uh, just one friend. What? <laughs> instead of four friends, I'd like to have two. <laughs> uh, yeah. I mean. I like to go higher. I, I I want to have higher friends, but I can't count that high. Well, I mean, having like, see, I have like, I have multiple friend groups of like. Oh, and you you're so busy with them, you can't do comedy, I'm just, huh? I'm you're just so mis- busy. I'm just a Mr. Cool guy. So it's like I hang out with, it's probably like forty people total. So it's like, I don't hang out with them one on one, but when we get together, it's just a group. Um, and I mean that shit's exhausting. Because you have to, it's like literally just juggling people. I have, I don't like, like, see, that's what I mean. I have no concept of juggling people because I don't really like, um, if I'm comfortable, I don't give a fuck to like act any differently. Oh, yeah. I, I mean, mean I have like do. four really close friends, but it's like, uh, I'll do talk you, to anybody. I don't care. Do you think all of them like your written house show? Um, not one of them. What if, what <laughs> if, what if like, what if instead of like your friends go tell me a joke and you just go, uh, Rin House is a hero. Um, when people ask you to tell a joke, people would laugh. Okay, but my friends are, my friends are like a mixed bag of like anything political, any like ideas. It's not like I hang out with just like Republicans or Democrats. I'm sorry. What? I'm sorry for saying all that stuff about you know, you do math and living in an RV and. Well, I mean, I did do Adderall. Your wife. Well, you never. <laughs> I don't even know why you think I'm country. It's so wild. You wear a hat. You wear a green hat. I like told a dirty, you, it's Ralph dirty colored hat. You have gold teeth and you have a mullet. It's just long hair. I don't have a mullet. It's just long hair. Uh, well, I just always have a hat. Good enough. It's good enough for it to be considered a mullet. It's just long. What's, hair. what's the lady situation like, Connor? Lady situation is uh, non-existent. Really? Yeah. Let's let's go on a Tinder crawl. <laughs> no. A Tinder crawl? <laughs> no, no, no. I can't. I need to. Uh, no, I, I was thinking about doing that. I'm thinking about doing bits on Tinder. Do you even have a Tinder? Yeah, I don't even. I got a few matches, and then um, I talked to people, and then they didn't talk back. So I mean, that was oh. how the extent of my usage of it. I feel like it's a numbers game. Uh, yeah, I mean, yeah. yeah. But also, like, you can make your profile more appealing. I just I want to do like the picture of me with the chicken feet, mm-hmm. and then be like, I just want a girl to fuck me up physically, not mentally. Jesus. <laughs> <laughs> and then you know what I mean. <laughs> you know oh. what I mean. Uh, well, let me ask. You, so, how do you how do you meet uh, girls? Just um, school, well, school or friends of friends or um, uh, friends sisters, I guess. 
Friend kidding. <laughs> kidding. Um, I always do that now. I, I've started to become obnoxious. It's like whenever they say I have a sister, it's like, um, like, would you be bothered if you know I was starting to date her? No, I wouldn't say that. It's something like that. But it's like, oh, you have a sister or something like that. I, yeah. I do it to intentionally. Mm-hmm. I was, and I go to him and I'd be like, hey man, I just want you to let you know, like, I'm not saying anything or anything, but like, I would let you date my sister. And then they're like, oh yeah, what's her name? It's like, I don't have a sister. <laughs> I don't have a sister. Jesus. I don't have a sister. Uh Oh, so you do have a brother though. Yeah. What does he do? Fuck if I know. You don't even know? You're, how how you, old is he? Uh, I... 21 jesus 22 mm. does he sorry i'm cold um fucking up the podcast we can hear the nylon can you hear it i can yeah damn dude that's what the headphones are for hold on i'm yeah. almost there oh oh yeah keep fucking up the podcast oh, yeah you like that nylon sorry this basement is 60 degrees um 69 so degrees is he like in college is he in college probably Holy shit. <laughs> <laughs> Probably, unless he dropped out, yeah. I don't really talk to him. Mm. Yeah, I mean, it was like, I didn't talk, because my brother was like, he's a wild boy. So he was just like, never home whenever uh, we were growing up. So it was like, even at like 14, he would just not be home. <clears throat> so I didn't even know him until... I, was... I mean, it's because you guys didn't have home, you had an RV. No, we we were... <laughs> It it was funny because we would be super rich and then just like poverty stricken. So I'd grow up like <laughs> that's, that's like bad money management. It, every two years, I swear to God, it would just flip. Like we were living good and then two years flip and then we'd be in poverty for two years. <laughs> so it was like, it, I'm not even like when I when I was 16, uh, I was riding around in like a pretty new Range Rover, and then um, and then I blew it up. Because it's a piece of shit. Because Range Rovers are a piece of shit. And so then after I blew it up, my parents didn't have any money. So then I had to buy my own car. <clears throat> and I had no money. Yeah. And so I bought like a Cadillac for like $1,000. And then and then I had to pay for my school lunches. Because I couldn't afford that. I had to pay my gas. I didn't even have insurance. I was like, yo, what are we doing here? <laughs> <laughs> do, you, do you ever get into an accident after that? Uh, do you have insurance with the Land Rover? Um, No. Or, yeah, but I mean, it, the engine repair on a Range Rover is ridiculous money. And they're all turds, so it's not even worth it. <clears throat> but, yeah, and then the Cadillac got crashed into after a party. Because everybody was drunk. Or I was just drunk. And then somebody crashed into me. How do you feel about drunk driving? What's your personal opinion? I mean, I've done it. And I've been arrested for it. <laughs> <laughs> that's not an opinion that's just a statement that's just a true fact uh i don't know i think obviously usually if you're blacked out and you do it you're just blacked out and you're not even thinking but um even if you're black and you don't do it still around <laughs> no, not- i was just driving to the comedy club one time and then there's this really um cute police woman um pulling over a black guy mm-hmm. i feel like that says a lot about society and she shot him no i i don't know i think <laughs> I don't know. Maybe she accused him of sexual assault or something. She said, freeze. And he's like, I don't I'm know. already sitting in my car. <laughs> I don't know. Something about white women doing bad things to black men is interesting to me. Not like in a good way. Okay. I don't know. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry for this. Tom Myers, please. I want to open for you sometime or feature or, or just a guest spot. I'm coming. I want to go to Baltimore and meet you, man. So, anyways, Bill, you voted for Donald Trump. So no, now I let did me not. tell. Let me. I did not let me hear what Trump. your thought process. I am was. not a Donald. I am the opposite of a Donald Trump voter. I'm the opposite of a Donald Trump voter. I would. That would be a non-voter. Think about the opposite of a Donald Trump voter, and that's who I would vote for. Honestly, and then and I'm not gonna say anything more than that. Okay. Just wanted to hear some political views. Um, you know Christopher Dorner. Dorner. He's like a. I think so. Former police officer that shot other oh, police yeah. officers. Yeah, yeah. Uh, you know, and you like Kyle. Rit- he's your hero. Yeah. Kyle Rittenhouse. Kid's the boss. Um, just relax. <laughs> As young CEO. Um, <laughs> if any of them were to run, I would vote for them. <laughs> You'd vote for those. I just, I just appreciate the type of commitment it takes to pull a trigger you know what i mean yeah it takes some balls it takes some big balls to do that 
Especially to be like, I want to protect this is, town. It's, it's crazy. It's cr- shut up, <laughs> shut up. I don't want to get. I don't want to talk about it. Um, <laughs> no, but it's like you know, it's crazy because you don't need balls to pull a trigger. Like women can do it too. Yeah, but they're not very good at it. No, no, no. no. They're very good at it. Oh yeah, they're a little they're, too. They're, oh yeah, you're yeah, right. They're, they're very, very good at it. A little too good at it. They're very good at it actually. Women have good hand eye coordination, mm-hmm. but they can't tell the difference between a gun and a taser. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, which is. There was another one. Did you hear about the other one that happened? What another one? Literally, like, I think two months ago, last month, another cop, lady cop, uh, pulled a gun out and thought it was a taser. Is it? But is I, there, like, I don't know. Is I, I'm sure a male cop, I'm sure that has to have happened before. I mean, it can't be, I don't know. Yeah, I don't know. It's not good. Maybe they're just Karens, you know? Probably. Have you seen that Darman video? Who Darman is? Darman, yeah. The... Have you seen that Darman video of that white woman like whipping, uh, like black boys in the basketball from the basketball court? No, I haven't watched Darman. I had watched maybe two years ago. <laughs> you watched him? You were a fan? No, I was just like, what is this? Well, it was because it was on your mom's house, and it was like, like you know, Tom Segura. This stuff. is my mom's house. Yeah, I know. Which is why I had to specify. I was like, oh yeah, this is your mom's house. <laughs> I meant, like, with Tom Segura. Um, they were covering Darman. And that's when I was watching the videos. I don't know. Um, I don't know what that type of humor is. Like, cringe, I guess. Failure. No, I, uh, I'm i doing all this stuff. No, I, I guess I just want to talk about dating again. Because Valentine's okay. Day is coming up. Yeah. I legitimately am going to swipe today to see if anything happens. I guess I don't want to get fucking gold. Ugh. I don't want to get gold. I don't think it's worth it. I think it's better to no. download like 50 dating apps than get gold. Just make like 18 accounts. <laughs> no, 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 no. No, so you you have, have you ever used Tinder? Mm-mm. I've never used any online dating. Really? Have Are you had you? any experience with women? I usually meet my ladies out in the wild. Oh, yeah, because you're a party guy. Party and I, guy. And then I capture them. No, tell me. I want to hear some stories about you partying, man. Uh, Well, I mean, there's a lot. There is a lot. I mean, where did we go? We so let's just make recently. this the podcast. Oh my god, my fucking job is calling me right now. <laughs> Your job? Do you have to go into work today? No, it's tomorrow. They're just mm-hmm. calling it to confirm. Throw it on speaker. No. Throw it on speaker. No. You're like, hey, you're on the podcast. <laughs> <laughs> no, no. Um, uh, I mean, I I could just call them back in ten seconds. Yeah. Can you pause it? No, I think I'll just. I think it, we got twenty minutes left. We can wait twenty minutes. Yeah, right? we'll just rip twenty. We'll just let it fly. Okay, so <laughs> dating. Uh, now you've you've had, you've had sex before, right? Do you think I have? No. <laughs> <laughs> Why? Why? What says? What says about me? Full um, blown virgin. Uh, probably just like. Whoa! What the? F- what? All I did was this. What you do? What'd you do? You fucking with the microphone. It was bound to happen as it fucked no, up. No, it's so? cool. Oh. No, it's cool. It's just something weird happened. Hmm. No, uh, no, yeah, continue. Yeah, you, why don't you think I've had sex? Uh, just by the way you talk about it. Why? <laughs> you're just like, well, I, what was it? As soon as I walked down here, you're like, yeah, so I had some girl down here and we're making out. And I was like, nice. And then that was it. That was the story. Said, <laughs> but it's Whoa. funny. <laughs> yeah, I know. I was like, That's... I don't give a fuck. People don't think people like like the big thing about me in high school was like, uh, oh, he's he's funny, uh, mm-hmm. but like he's not he, he's he's not doing it intentionally. And then I, those were the people I'd kill. Oh, those are the people I'd fucking murder. Yeah, no, because isn't that like annoying? It's like like because but it's like but but it's like I play the part of the joke sometimes. You know what I mean? Yeah. It's like people don't realize that. But you like, don't want to always be the joke. I don't really care. I don't really care. I'm uh. never, I'm like, my, my, like, that's what I mean. It's like, I, I don't think it's like, I don't think people deserve to be taken seriously or like, uh, be treated a certain way or like, um, you know, like, um, I'm like, my, my one goal is to like entertain people. It's not like I, uh, it's not like I really think beyond that stuff. Beyond that, you just want to be a goofball. Yeah, I just want to have fun. I don't, I just want to be... <laughs> like, like I don't have to. I don't. I don't see any desire to prove myself. Yeah. Yeah, but I have it... had sex before. Okay. 
So, so all that just to answer that. <laughs> yeah, I've had that sex before. <laughs> I had forgotten what I even asked at first. I was like, I've had that sex like, before. What, what did I ask? You want to know how, how many did times get here? I've had sex? Uh, sure. How many times? Okay, guess how many times oh, and guess you how many meet? partners. Yeah. Uh, like twice with two. <laughs> um, A lot more than twice, but with two, yeah. Yeah. I don't know. I guess, you know, if I wanted to be fucking and sucking all the time, I could. But Jesus. I, I don't, like, <laughs> not my number one goal. Yeah, I'm not a huge one-night stand person. No, I mean, I'm not a huge one-night stand person either. Uh, I like finding a person that's consistent and then uh, keep going at it. Yeah, someone who doesn't suck. Like, I'm just saying, or like, somebody who's general. cool. Somebody who's cool I'll spend, like, time with and then fucking and sucking. You know what I mean? <laughs> a lot of women aren't like a big fan of big fan of uh big fan of condoms. What? Women aren't? Yeah. I've never used one. Really? Don't even know what it is. Really? Are you allergic to latex? No, I just said that get that thing off me. Why? Cuz it sucks. I you know what we should do? We should go on Reddit. Big dick problems. <laughs>